Hey, what's going on, gentlemen? Welcome to the first official episode of The Grizz's Cave. My name is David, also known as The Don, and I'm here with The Big Grizz. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, welcome, guys. Thank you for joining us. Um, my name's Will. Most of you guys know me as uh, The Big Grizz on TikTok and Instagram. Yes, sir. And um, thank you for, again, thank you for joining us. We're going to have a good time today. Yeah, so guys, uh, just to let you know, it's our first one, so it's going to be a little choppy, but yeah. uh, we're going to make this work. Yeah, uh, sure. We got a pretty good schedule lined up. Uh, you asked some questions on Instagram. Yeah. Um, a lot of gentlemen have some questions that hopefully we can get to um, today. All of yeah, them. Yeah, we will get to all of them. Um, but before starting, tell us a little, bit, a little bit about how you got to this point. Yeah. Uh, there's always a turning point when someone gets to a certain level, so um, I think it might have been a turning point, right? Uh, yeah, there, there was, um, and I think that this is relevant. I need to tell people like a little bit of my story yeah. so that they kind of understand like where I've been, where I've come from, how I've learned what I've learned, yeah. and um, why I guess I'm able to teach it now. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I would say everything started after high school and college. We, here's the thing, man. When we were in college, we, we didn't, I mean, you had better success with women. At the time, I did. Yeah, you were the funny guy. Everybody loved you. Yeah. The energy you had that energy. That's what it is. And, and you know what? Yeah. I lost my virginity at fifteen. Yeah, you lost it really quickly. Really early. See, I didn't until my senior year in high school. Yeah. And I was always just serious. And so you're about your business, though. I was just grades and, and and sports, but I always knew that at one point in my life, there was gonna be more than that, and I include included women. So here's one thing that I want to make clear from the start. This this channel is it, yeah we talk a lot about, a lot about women, because in all honesty, man, and people don't like to really admit this, mm -hmm. women are very important in men's lives, very important. And you know what? A lot of men make emotional decisions because of women. Because of women. So that yeah. I can see how that's key. Yeah, and so and those decisions you know really affect your life. And so I've made decisions. I mean, right Both out of, of college, yeah, of right out of college, and so. Um, as I grew older, I realized, you know what, I'm not doing things right, mm -hmm. and I decided to switch it up, and I started learning more, and I applying more, and building myself up, and now I'm at the point where I feel like I can teach it now. So a lot of people try to teach it when they're just learning, which mm -hmm. is cool, I mean, um, to each their own, but you get to a point where you realize like everybody around you doesn't really know what they're doing when it comes to women. And you know, it's funny though, there's, there's this cliche that goes around, those who can't do uh -huh. teach yeah. but it's different in this situation because well I would say you, the, you do it yeah I've yeah. seen you do yeah, it I'm always out there <laughs> you um, and you can teach it too yeah. I think that's what separates because some other people that do it or that are teaching it they don't really do it yeah they're just yeah. teaching it. I, I think that that analogy though is a little bit it, it's it's false I'll tell you why a lot of a lot of dudes say LeBron is a great coach and he's doing it that's true and I think the real masters they understand concepts to the level that not everyone can understand because they ask themselves the hard questions. Right. So when you're able to ask yourself the hard questions, you're able to really internalize something a little bit better. And when you do that, you're, you're able to teach it. Okay. So like going through this process of becoming the man that I am now, I've had to ask myself a lot of questions. The tough ones. The tough ones. The very tough ones. But well, I would say one of the first ones was like in college, like... Why am I dating this girl, and why am I sticking with her? I remember you used to say that mm -hmm. because uh, he used to be like, "I'm gonna break up with her." I would always say, it. "I'm always gonna break up with her." Yeah, yeah. And poor girl, man. She was she, she was, was sweet. sweet. She was sweet. I learned a lot from her. Luckily, she's got a life now, and she's got kids and everything. So, but let's start there. Um, I uh, here, let's see. Let's make sure we're good on time. I um, when I was with her, I remember thinking, "Am I gonna marry this girl?" Because back, really? yeah. I, I, you never knew that? Oh, I didn't know that. I really thought, am I going to marry I used to think, like, I could marry her. She's a nice girl. She's going to school. She's, <sighs> yeah, I used to think that. I was like, because I, I believed in marriage. and My perspective on marriage is different today. But back then, I thought that that was the goal. Yeah. The goal is to find a girl and get married, especially after my first one. Yeah. Before her, yeah. I was I moved in with her yeah. at a very young age. And Super young. 18. 18. No, he, no, it was 18. 18, yeah. 18. And I moved in with her, and I... Here's a story that I, I tell all the time. I was about to buy her a ring. I remember that. I went to the, I went to the uh, jewelry store, and while I was there, I called her. 
and when she and I've heard this story before and that's why I did it because somebody else told this story and I was like let's see how it goes for me I call her while I'm walking into the jewelry store uh-huh. she answers the phone a little upset I didn't tell her I was there yeah. but I just wanted to feel like I don't know that I was doing something right mm-hmm. I was hoping that she would feel excited for, I don't know for some you know right, ener- energies yeah, yeah. energies and all that uh, and I don't want to get too into that but yeah so she she answered the phone she was upset and I was like do I want to marry this girl and then this is the story that, that really hit it for me. So, one night we were laying in bed. At five in the morning, something wakes me up. I don't know what it is. I, I, I turn over to her to look at her. And she's like, knock the fuck out. She's drooling. She's five years older than me. Yeah. And I realized, like, you know what? She already looks a little old. At 25. I was 20. Women do age older. I mean, faster. faster. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want that. Like in, in five years, she's gonna look worse than this. This is with her without makeup, obviously. And this is the worst, like that she could look. She's the worst not, thing that she yeah. Could be in. yeah. But still, I was like, I'm still too young. Why am I? Yeah. Why am I tying myself down now? I could get better. And you I bought your better. house at 18 too. Yeah, so. and so we we I was already thinking I'm gonna get married. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there, and and so yeah. Then I went to the girl that I had in college, and I jumped from relationship to relationship. The recent relationship was what really was a turning point. You asked me about the turning yeah. point. That was it. Because I realized, like, I finally got a girl who I was very attracted to, was totally my type in every aspect, ex- except a couple things. Mm-hmm. There are a couple things that didn't meet that criteria. Right. And, and you think those those couple things were because of the way you were brought up? It was because of the way I was brought up. And it was because of the way I was taught about women. Like, what I was taught about women. Um, and it, every my perspective and the way I viewed women mm-hmm. was shattered with this girl completely shattered and that's what really i had to really look inside and and think okay i'm not ready for a girl like this for a girl that's a little bit more feminine that likes to party a little bit that's that That, cares about that was the difference the big mm -hmm. difference for you that was it because i think people got to know we were sheltered we were very sheltered um christian background Mm -hmm. super conservative super conservative Uh, but you know what a lot of what you teach still comes from a conservative background. It does. It does. And because I realize that in my well, in my opinion, I, I honestly, I think it's the truth. The, the the way humanity has been brought up, there's a reason why we've we've uh, adapted and we've we're the dominant species mm-hmm. on this earth for so long. And there's a, there's a reason why we keep evolving because we're smart as fuck. And everything that's been happening, everything that's worked works. If it works, if it ain't don't if it ain't broke, broken, don't, don't fix, fix it. it yeah. And people are trying to trying to manipulate things nowadays, and, and things are just too too out of whack. I don't want to get into the conversation, but <laughs> we're getting in trouble. Uh, yeah, we're getting, YouTube's gonna yeah. already block our videos. And but let's not get into that. Yeah, but um, yeah. So with this girl, I was just like, okay, I I'm in this relationship. I have this kind of a friend. I didn't know what frame was. I didn't know what any of this stuff was. Naturally, we had some. Because of dad. Yeah, our father was our father was he was a man in his in his in his realm. Yeah. And um, so we naturally had a little bit of that masculinity. And that's what attracted that girl that girl at the time. But I would lose it because I didn't know what I was doing. So let me ask you this. Yeah. With every girl that you dated, mm-hmm. have they I don't know if they've told you this, but do you think that they think that you're different from all the guys that they've dated? Always. Always. I get the same. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. They always tell me you're different. And um I think it's because for number one is because of where we're at, well, where we were raised. So, excuse me, where we were raised, people aren't as ambitious, and so they don't have that growth mentality. So these women, when they come around, they're like, "Oh shit, this is different." But when you go to a bigger city and everybody's about it, a lot of people think, "Oh, I, I need more. I want more." Yeah, and at the same time, they encounter more guys like us. However, I feel like I'm still at another level because of the work that I've done in myself. Not a lot of people do that work. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you, for example, you you you're aware, you become aware that shit. I like discipline, right? Some people ignore it for years. Others decide to attack it, mm-hmm. and um, I decided to attack it, and that's what separates me from others. Now, you, do you feel like you're disciplined in all areas? No, of course not. Look at my body, like, <laughs> 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 like I should be ripped, you know. Right. But and that's one thing that. I'm very grateful for this journey because I know that hey, I am, I am saying this is what I do. Yeah. So I got to make sure that I practice what I preach. Right. 
And so, yeah, I lift all the time, to, and I, I'm I'm always in the gym. But like my my diet's the worst part about Love it. To eat. Yeah, man. Yeah, and sugar it kills me. So yeah. you're a big sweets guy. I am. I am. If you want to get them gifts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that's that's the journey. So I I've had to learn because we were sheltered. I had yeah. to break out of a lot of limiting beliefs. Right. And especially when it came to women. Yeah, I think that's the big part. Mm-hmm. Um, growing up in a Christian home, we were taught that women. Um, our angels you know, yeah, yeah our angels and they, they're naturally going to submit mm-hmm. uh, but a woman's not naturally going to submit no uh, she will for the right guy for the right guy yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's in her nature that's what I'm saying mm-hmm. uh, but if you're like you said you got to be a man that a woman wants to submit to yeah you can't just expect her to but and here's the thing you have to build yourself into that man exactly because it's even worse now or it's it's a bigger deal now because um, everything around you is teaching you to be the opposite of a man less masculine exactly and back in the day it was normal there's actually a video that just I just saw on Twitter of the um, the Russian military mm-hmm. it's a commercial in the Russian military these dudes are beasts like it's a it's a commercial that's making men want to join the military these dudes are fucking beasts and then it shows a commercial of a fucking American soldier and it's a female <laughs> And like no disrespect, I mean right. no disrespect, but listen, ladies, we put you in the front lines. We're getting eat, eaten up alive. Right. I mean, it, it, there was another video of a of a professional a soccer team, women's soccer team, who played against the guys. Who played against fifteen year olds or seventeen year olds right. or something? They and lost I, the guys. I, I saw something <clears> similar <throat> where there was a high school whose women's varsity team played. Yeah. Uh, the soccer the soccer team mm-hmm. women's soccer team played a basketball team mm-hmm. that, of guys of guys that didn't even play <clears throat> don't soccer, play soccer yeah and they still won that's on my TikTok the, yeah the women yeah. were playing at first uh, they were winning at first oh yeah but then the men just because they're naturally more athletic yeah you know they, they probably needed to warm up get used to the game uh-huh. and then once they use yeah. their athleticism to win yeah um, it's just nature right? it is it is just nature and so and, and seeing that is what made me decide you know what I put in all this work to become this man. We need more men to do this work. I'm not saying I'm like um, the second coming of Jesus or like I'm not saying that I'm the guy you need to emulate. Right. But there are other men you can emulate. Right. And so I'm just I'm just the guy that's t- telling you, hey, go there. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've gone through there. I recommend going through there. I'm further along in the journey. Um, there are other dudes that are further along than I am who I recommend you follow and learn from. And I'm just another guy. I'm just another stepping stone. And Sweet. that's why this was created. So what would you say to those guys that say, or women, uh, because there's men who think this way too, mm-hmm. that say you're misogynist because of your way of thinking? I don't care. Do you feel like you're misogynist? No, not at all. I love women. I um, I feel like women are the number one. I mean, I don't mean it to to make them an object, but number one commodity in this world. Like, every, They're the most beautiful, beautiful creation. They're, they're God's most beautiful creation on earth. Amen. And so, yeah, amen. <laughs> and so, um, I mean, I'm not as religious as you are nowadays, but still, I can still, I still acknowledge that uh, God exists and that women, it's, women are beautiful and I love women and I love everything about them. I love the feminine nature. I love, I love that they want to choose the best man because that makes us want to become the best man that we can be. And by nature, we're competitive. Yeah. I'm competitive. Yeah. You and I have been going at it yeah. all our lives. All our lives, yeah. Um, but going back to that, you're saying religious. But it's funny because a lot of the stuff that you say, it, it actually, it derives from a lot of what the Bible says. And yeah. I'm not to get to religious yeah. here. Um, but when you talk about, you know, you, a woman wants to submit or yeah. you be the man, the Bible says, woman, submit to your man. However, the man has to be the man for yeah. the woman to be submitted. Yeah, of course, of course. And if they're not that... Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. So now, and here's the thing nowadays, because of that, the top echelon of men have sex with the most women. Uh, most women have sex with them. There's dudes on this planet who have not had sex. There's dudes who are 30 years old and are still virgins. Oh 32 years old, still virgins. That's nuts. Yeah. And so, um, who are those women having sex with? Your boy. Your boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I, I just want to say, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, my brother David is, is is the marketing genius behind everything. He's the one that told me get on TikTok, get on Instagram. We're gonna we're gonna build this together. Yeah. And so um, I, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here. And listen, I am not this guy who knows it all. Okay. I am very confident in what I've done. And I mean, for example, 
one thing that we didn't mention was the traveling that I did solo to learn how to talk to people, how to yeah. socialize in an environment that I'm not comfortable with. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that I've done in my life that um, made me uncomfortable so that I can grow. And that's what I feel makes me stand out from, from the most, for most coaching dudes, gurus, whatever you want to call them. Right. Um, because I've done it in all, all realms. So what I'm trying to teach here is not really just how to pick up women, how to have women in your life. This is It's a big aspect because women are very important to a man's life. But I also want to teach you how to converse with anybody mm-hmm. at any time, how to network better, how to um, just make build stronger relationships, stronger relationships with your family as well. We Our relationship has grown a lot the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. You, me, and, and Abe, our, our, our relationship is... I, I would say I've, I haven't met any other brothers, set of brothers I, that have a relationship like us. Yeah. You know what? It's because people are too scared to tell each other directly. Yeah. Um, what they're doing wrong. Yeah. Or where they're messing up in their life. Yeah. And we, we tell know, each other yeah. all the time. Yeah. We we're very hard on each other. And, and even though you're the older brother, I've yeah. come at you hard too. Yeah. Um, and we come at each other hard. But the respect we, is the respect yeah. is still there. Yeah. That's one thing that I love about us. Like, um, I know I'm the oldest, so I have to lead by example. Right. And um, when I don't, you guys tell me. But when I do, I get on your guys' ass. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. I, I, so all of that, we put ourselves in uncomfortable situations. And so now we're building. I feel like we've gotten through the ringer enough that now it's our time to kind of blow up. Yeah. And that's why we're here. And so we want to appreciate you guys. So listen, this is this is the bottom. Like we're coming from the bottom. So if you're here with us now, remember this when we are at a million followers. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to happen. See, I kind of wanted to be in the background, but I guess now I'm on You're, set. You'll be the host. So, yeah. All right, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us on our first official YouTube video. Will, any last words? Yeah, uh, guys, make sure to like and comment the video. Subscribe, please. Uh, we'll also have some links down there for the free PDF. Mm-hmm. Uh, three reasons why you're not attracting women. And um, that's about it. Subscribe. Subscribe, like, and comment. Like, and comment. That's it, baby. We're out. All right. Peace.